I'm looking forward to developing from this AN assembly today more networked, more collaborative platforms, how we could bring some of these practices to Swansea and how we can model different ways of working. And it's just really brilliant to be part of this day and to start to activate these conversations. For today our aims really were to kind of to try to democratise the event. Um, there's always someone loud who gets their point across and, and maybe we've been on the other side where we haven't and uh, we wanted to try and democratise that a bit. The fundamental thing about being an artist is about voice and about communication and being able to communicate that idea and without support networks or without um, funding or without a community around you, you, you can't communicate. Whatever that message might be, it's never going to get out there. I've really enjoyed listening to how people are using their art practices and involving the community instead of just their own personal practice because that's something I'm really interested in. But the challenges are really about capitalism and unless we start talking about capitalism I don't know how we can go forward really because capitalism is tied into racial injustice, into everything and it's really critical that we kind of own up to it and start challenging the power structures. The usefulness of art, the purpose of art, I think there's a whole questioning of how the art gallery and, and art in general has become quite elitist, market-led. How can it become something which is really useful to a vast number of people, not just the generally white middle-class audiences that it currently functions for? For the future, I'd really like to see more artists working with institutions like museums and galleries in a way that was opening up those museums and galleries and making them much more porous. They become sites of social activism and change where people use art from all kinds of different backgrounds to rethink politics from, from the periphery and help to affect change in the centre. Artists run spaces are as important as the big juggernauts or the, what, the big institutions. They all have different kinds of power, different kinds of um, usefulness to communities, but it's in working together across that ecosystem that will really make positive change for the future and help each other survive and thrive, hopefully. It's an amazing opportunity that we have to alter where we live, which is mm. quite rare. To be able to bring something that we want Mm. and just do it, rather yeah. than kind of waiting for something to happen. Mm. From my point of view, the shared enjoyment of being a team, working together as an artist collective is just, you can't, you know, you can't quantify it. You can do it, but don't do it all yourself, you know, and that's, that's key, you know, have people around you who can support you. They don't have to be artists, they don't have to come from the same background from you. You can have completely different ideas about the world, and that's probably the healthiest uh, relationship to have, is that people who you don't agree with, actually, and that'll probably create the most interesting projects, the most interesting work, and potentially create the most interesting world as well.